Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna go over my eco-friendly, sustainable, low-waste makeup capsule collection. So many words. Okay, so I have my makeup collection here. It is in this bag. It is a linen bag from Pila Case, which if you didn't know, that's actually where I work. That is my full-time job. I am a writer or editor for Pila Case. Um, I love it. Mine says lead the way, but they have so many that are so, so cute. And I'm gonna just go through what I do. Now, as you are very aware of, I am not a makeup artist. You, you don't follow me for beauty advice. You follow me for eco-friendly advice. So just keep that in mind as we roll through these things. I'm an actor, so I'm often on stage. I do camera work, I do promos, commercials, things like that. So my makeup collection is really important because it is something that I have to have. If they don't have a makeup artist on staff, something that's gonna have to hold up. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through my products and tell you about them. So up first is my primer, which I have by Juice Beauty. This is a glass bottle and they're a really cool company. They've got um, a lot of like kind of farm, instead of farm to table, it's kind of like farm to face. I don't know if that's what you'd call it, but um, I've been invited to their farm before and I've never been able to go, but someday I would really, really like to visit. And I have their primer, which I really like. I do have oily skin and sometimes if my skin is really oily, this is a little bit of a shiny primer. So sometimes it does make my face a little bit more shiny than it needs to be. But on the whole, I'm really, really happy with it and with the packaging. So I buy most of my beauty products at Credo Beauty in San Francisco. They're amazing because all of their products have to meet a certain, like a really, really strict criteria of clean beauty. So I know that the products that I'm buying are gonna be safe for me, and most of these brands also prioritize sustainable packaging. But even a lot of the sustainable packaging pieces, like this is glass, which is really cool, and this is metal on the outside, plastic on the inside, which often happens. They do have a drop where they're partnered with TerraCycle, and they will take all of the products back, which is really cool, so that way they can be separated and recycled properly. Now, one of the things that has been most helpful in just reducing my waste when it comes to beauty products is I operate by like a very strict one in one out rule. So I can't accumulate a whole bunch of products. I try to keep it, I try to have a really narrow selection. And that's why I call it a capsule collection. I know many of you probably heard of a capsule wardrobe. It's kind of the same idea, but with beauty products. I do have like a few different lip colors though. I have about two lip colors, kind of one that's a little bit um, brighter for summer one that's a little bit darker for winter. I have like a different eyeshadow too. So I do have a little bit of flexibility with the seasons, but on the whole, I use most of these products every day or most days. Up next is the Vapor Beauty Foundation. And this is the glass bottle, which is really cool. And their top I think is also actually metal, but plastic on the inside. And I don't like this product at all. I, I don't recommend it. It is very greasy. It is very oily. I do not recommend it at all. I follow up with powder and this is from O Natural Skin Food, um, which is a really cool brand out of Australia, I believe. And this is refillable. So this screws off. I'm gonna make a huge mess if I do this right now, right here. <gasps> but yes, this is refillable. So you can actually buy the powder refills and they come in like a little paper pouch, I believe. And that way you can keep using the same base over and over and over again, which I think is really cool. And I really love this powder and it has SPF 25. So I like to use that. I use that every, pretty much every, every day. Now I know this isn't like a beauty product, but I love my eyelash curler. <laughs> and mine's from Tweezerman. And what I really, really like about it is it has the refills. It's so hard to find these with the refills these days, but Tweezerman sells the refills, which I think is great. One of my favorite items that I use all the time. Concealer. I have the RMS concealer, and as you can tell, it is very beat up. This is a metal top though, glass bottom, which I think is really cool. And I have almost used this product to the point where it's being, where it's empty. I have the Tata Harper lip to cheek, which comes in a, has a green glass bottom, but the lid is plastic. I like this product, but it wears off super fast. It probably, it wouldn't be something that I would necessarily recommend. I really like the color, but like I said, it wears off really, really quickly. 
Now this is one of my favorite products by Ilia. It's their lip to cheek. They call it something else, I can't remember, but their stuff's packaged in recycled aluminum, which I think is really cool. And as you can tell, it is plastic on the bottom and recycled aluminum on the side. But the glue isn't super strong, which I think is actually great because that makes it way easier for it to be recycled. I'm a big fan of Ilia. I have a lot of Ilia products. I have their mascara, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's really cool because it has a comb on it, which is really nice. It has a comb, which is so cool. Um, it's not just a brush, there's a comb to it, so I feel like it separates my lashes really well. I'm a big fan. I also have the Ilia <laughs> Brow Gel and the Ilia Eyeliner. And I'm a huge, huge fan of this eyeliner. I've tried a bunch of eco-friendly eyeliners and I have to say this is one of my favorites. It is a pin and it, so I guess it's technically liquid, I think. It's not a pencil. And I don't, is that like a new type of eyeliner? You have like pencil, pin, and liquid? I don't really know, but I like it. The brow gel, huge fan. I wear this almost every day as well. And then I have Wonder Whip by Cary Gran, which is kind of just like a lip gloss chapstick. I like this stuff. I also make my own. I don't think it's anything really to write home about. I think my homemade one works really well, but I do really like the product. And then my, all of my brushes are over a decade old. Some of them are getting a little bit loose and I just plan on super gluing the base back together. And I do have a recipe for homemade brush cleaner on my blog, which I will link down below that I use all the time. And with my brushes, I have this palette, which is an eco-friendly and sustainable palette that is, the whole thing I believe is recyclable and or compostable. That's like kind of how it's branded, but it has really beautiful colors. I especially like these for fall. I was gifted this palette, but I have bought one of the same brand, Ether Beauty. I bought one of their palettes in the past, but I really like their colors, especially for fall and winter. It's what I'm wearing now. And once again, don't judge me on how my makeup is done. This is not a makeup tutorial. <laughs> Please be kind. And lastly, the only other thing I really have left is my perfume, which is MC MC Fragrances. I bought this for my wedding and I'm almost out of it. My wedding was two years ago, so. As you can tell, I don't use it super often, but my husband is from Maine and I just really liked that the fragrance was Maine. And so it was just really special because I bought it for my wedding day. And it smells really nice and I really like it a lot. Yeah, so that is my capsule makeup collection. This is pretty much what I wear on a daily basis. Not really much more than this. I mean, I don't wear all this on a daily basis, but I mean, sometimes I wear only a fraction of this, but if I have like a shoot day or something like that, I'm probably gonna wear all of these things. So yeah, that's my capsule collection. These are all my beauty products. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and press that big red subscribe button. And if you have any other questions about makeup, I will do my best to answer them. I've tested a lot of different mascaras and I've also tested a bunch of different lip colors because I really do struggle trying to find ones that actually stay put on my lips. So if you have or if you're interested in me doing a video comparing and contrasting all the green mascaras and the green lip products that I've tried, please let me know in a comment down below and I will do my best to film those videos for you. All right, well, I will see you in a new video next week. Mm -hmm.